Hi, this is Dr. Dave, and in this video we're going to look at how we complete Technology Assignment 1 in Google Sheets. What you see in front of you is a completed Google Sheet for Tech 1. And all a Google Sheet is, is a gigantic table. You can put numbers, you can put names, anything you want into this table. In this case, we're going to put in two columns of data. The first is going to be a year. So year zero, that's at the start when you're about to take this job. And then year one, two, three, four, five, all the way up to 10. You may go farther than this, but certainly zero through 10 would be good. In the second column, column B, we're going to have salary one on top. And then below that are the salaries that you would make in each one of these years corresponding to the salaries, uh, the starting salary you were given and the corresponding increase. Once we get that information in, we'll use it to create this graph, and this graph just sits over the top of this Google Sheet. So let me show you how we're going to do this. So let me go to a blank Google Sheet. And this is going to look a lot like your team document when you open it. If you're the first person to open this team document, all you're probably going to see here is a tab for team members and another tab that says team log. So let me go back to team members. So in here you'll see the names of the people on your team. I don't have any here. This is just a sample. And normally if you need to get in contact with any of your team members you can look at this information to help you. Some teams will put their phone numbers in here also and that's useful if you need to call someone on a spur of the moment. Team log is where every time you make changes, you put your name, the date you made that change, and a brief description of what those changes are. That way your teammates can keep track of what you're doing. So if you choose to do a particular starting salary and increase, you would want to put it here so someone else in your team doesn't duplicate that. All right, so now let's get started. So I need a blank Google Sheet inside of here. And I'm going to do that by adding a new tab here. And to add a new tab, I go down to where I see the plus here and click on that. That gives me a new sheet, which I'm going to use as my sheet for Tech 1. The first thing I'm going to want to do is put my name on it and indicate that it's Tech 1. So I'll go down to where it says Sheet 6 here. I'm going to double click on that. And I'm going to type T1 for Tech 1 underscore grazer. So everyone on my team knows that this is my tech one and this is my last name. You're the one who's going to be modifying this. Other people in your team will have a different tab here. Alright, so let's go up to the very top. Remember we need to create a table of values here. And in the first column will be year. And in the second column will be the salary for the first option you're going to look at. So I'm going to say salary one. All I'm doing is clicking in these cells and then typing in whatever I want to be there. Remember, you're going to have to do a different set starting salary and a different increase from everyone else. Everyone in your group should be doing something slightly different for tech one and for tech two. All right, so let me put in the different years. So in the sample I showed you earlier, I went zero through 10. So I could start zero, hit enter, or I could just click down on this next cell, type one, enter, and I could keep doing this all the way down to 10. However, there's a way that I can do this really quickly. As soon as I see zero one here, the assumption is probably going to be that I'm going to be going from zero up to some point in increments of one. So watch, there's an easy way to do that using something called a fill. So I'm going to click here. I'm going to, while I'm holding down the mouse button, I'm dragging and then I let go. This little box here is called the fill bar. And if I can get my mouse on top of it, so I see that plus, I'm going to click the mouse and hold it down and I'm going to drag it. Watch what happens when I drag it down to cell 11 in row 11. What that just did was it filled up all of those boxes with 0 up to 9 in increments 1. If I want to go a little bit farther to 10, I can grab it again, 
drag it down, and it goes down to 10. So that's a quick way to fill numbers inside of my particular uh, table. All right, I'm going to do a starting salary of 27000 So in the cell right here that's in column B and row 2, so that would be in cell B2, I'm going to type my starting salary, 27000 and hit Enter. Now I know that I've been assigned annual increases of $800. So in order to get this next one, I need to add $800 to the previous one. Now I could type in just 27,800, but I'm actually going to use a formula to do that. Whenever I type in a formula, I always start with an equals. That tells Google Sheets that it's going to have to calculate this stuff. So I want it to take the previous cell, which is B2. So I'm going to click on it. I'm going to type plus 800. What that means is it's going to take what was in cell B2 and add 800 to it. If I hit enter, it calculates that value for me. So to fill the rest of this column with the numbers, I'm going to click on this cell. I'm going to grab the fill bar and drag it down to B12 and release it. If you look at the numbers in here, you'll recognize that the each number in the row below is 800 plus the one above it. So here are all of my salaries. I've filled them in very quickly. Click outside of it, my table's done. All I need to do now is to go ahead and graph that. And graphing here is really easy. I'm going to click in cell A1, and while I'm holding down my mouse button, this is the left mouse button, I'm going to drag all the way down to B12, all the numbers I want to graph, and then I let go of it. You'll see that it's highlighted everything I want to graph, and now I'm going to go up to Insert and go to Chart. So there's lots of different charts I can do here. What I want to do is Chart Line. And it's going to give me a little preview but it's graphing this in kind of a weird way here. It's graphing two sets of data for each of the columns. So I need to say use column A as the labels. And as soon as I do that, you see it's only graphing one thing now. Also remember I had some headers. So the where I saw year and salary one, row one was headers. I'm going to include that. All right, well, there's my chart. Let's go ahead and say insert. It's pasted it in here. It's pasted over my data. So I'm going to go up to the very top here. I'm going to hold my mouse button down and I'm going to drag it over. There is the start of my table. Looks pretty good. The next thing I'm going to want to do though is I'm going to want to modify this because remember I had some labels on here and some of these labels I can just go up like this and I can go ahead and type in what I want. So salary one, it says press enter, and there it is, puts it up there for me. I can go down here, let's see, these were years. So I can type year, press enter, and it'll put it in for me. Now I'd also like to put one over here, but it doesn't have one pre-made for me. To do that, I'm going to have to do some advanced editing. So I'm going to go up to this little triangle here, and I'm going to go to Advanced Edit. In Advanced Edit, I could have gone straight to this to begin with. I could put the title in here, and I could go ahead and put the title on the horizontal axis. What I'm going to do is I'm going to say Left Vertical here, and then put salary and then in parentheses dollars that way I know the units are dollars on this some of the other things you can do here is if you want to go ahead and change the where this runs from right now it's going automatically from 25,000 to 35 but if I wanted to start down at zero and go up to 35,000 I could do that 
So that's a quick way to change the window on this. There's lots of other things, your grid lines. You can change how many grid lines there are here and what their colors are. Um, you can change the color, the series is the data. So right now it's in blue, but I could always change it to a different color if I wanted. I can change the size of the points, the line thickness. So if I want it to be bigger, I could do that, but I kind of like the two. And, uh, you know, you can play around with this a little bit. But once I've done, I click update and there's my graph. It looks pretty good, a lot like the one I showed you as an example before. You want to make sure that you have a title on here that makes sense. You want to have labels on your axes. And uh, as long as you have that, you're in pretty good shape. You might go right ahead and play with the colors. But remember, um, in later ones, we can do that again. So once you've got this, I can see your tech one. You can go ahead and close this up. And then when I grade this, I'll be able to access this sheet and look at what you've done. There's no need to submit this anywhere. Once you're done, I'll be able to get to it.